What's up, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gentlemen? We have here today, we've got seven Fat Packs Upper Deck Series 2, 26 card variety. I believe these were $4.99, and we've got a 32 card Fat Pack as well. This might have been $5.99, could have been $5.99 on these as well, but seven of those at 26 cards, one at 32, this is Series 2. And then we've got a couple blasters here. These were $19.99, I believe. Seven cards per box. Eight cards per pack. Looking for young guns. It's 200 card base set with 50 young guns. Hockey, gentlemen, ladies. I know nothing of the current players. So all of these are going to be a mystery to me. Just ripping a bunch of this. You've probably seen others open these. If you're a hockey fan, you probably ripped a bunch of this stuff yourself. I picked these off the shelves at Target over various... Uh, these are some fighting mofos. I picked these up at Target for a variety of, over several visits in April, it was, I believe, I picked these up. just decided to pick these up and make a little video here on the channel. Not familiar with it, but this is how we get familiar with stuff, right? So again, not going to know the players for the most part, probably at all. Kind of buzz through these. It's back here a little bit. Some nice looking cards though, upper deck, nice. It said on the box that, or I was actually reading that it said that young guns were one in every four packs. We'll see how that translates to these blasters, of course, but to these fat packs. Portraits Rookies, Emil Larmy from the Penguins. Pecarine, I've actually heard of him. I like how he's got the beanie on. Now, as I said, I'm not familiar with most of these players. Jonathan Quick, I've heard of him as well, being in a, being in Southern California. So there's probably going to be a lot here that I miss that I just skim right on by not knowing. Oh, they make these tough to open. Just not being familiar with the players. Obviously, I will go through after I'm done here and look into this and see who is who. I said it was a good way to show people who haven't seen these what it is inside of there that they're looking at. And for myself as well to get familiar with some of these gentlemen here that are playing on the ice. Brady Tkachuk. Tkachuk. Brady Tkachuk. I'm just playing. Keith Kachuk. That's got to be his son, right? Somebody related to him. If you ask me about Early 90s guys, I'm all over that. Gretzky, Hull, Iserman, a Marquee Rookies, Joel, Kivaranta, got something nice looking here. Dazzlers, Victor Soderstrom, Lemieux. Grant Fuhr, guys from that era. Yeah, I'm all over it. Tyler Bertuzzi. Todd Bertuzzi. I see a lot of legacy guys here, right? What in the hell is this guy wearing? Tereschenko here. The three. Got every single one of these. Every single one of these is giving me trouble. I think we're just going to have to pre cut the rest of them.
Jordan Stahl. We got another portrait rookies there. Vitaly Kratsov. Victor Olofsson. Patrick Kane. As I said, these are some really nice cards. I don't know, you know for those of you who haven't opened these, these very pretty durable. Nice cards. They look pretty sturdy, pretty solid. Coming out of the package, I do notice, though, just these particular ones, it looks like some of the corners on these are rounded. Take a look at these two as well. Yeah, these are rounded. That's why I usually stray from buying packs like these, like fat packs. Prefer the boxes like this more so. Not that it's an absolute, but my feeling is that packs like these can get damaged in transit more than cards inside of boxes. But that said, I've opened some blasters of basketball, and the cards have just been absolute trash, smashed corners and everything like that, too. So that's the problem, right? You never know what's inside. What's waiting for you, whether or not it turns out to be a waste of money. Looks like we got a little something shiny there coming up. Another Jordan Stahl. There we go. Canvas. Robbie Fabry. What do we got there? Another Dazzlers. Victor Hedman. Let's take a look at that Canvas card. Hmm. doesn't look like it's numbered obviously you guys and gals that have opened up this product would know that it wasn't numbered but for me it's a learning experience these dazzler cards aren't numbered as well olifson kane Pollock. so we're seeing a lot of the same base here now that you saw a couple packs ago There we go. Young Guns, David Case. First Young Guns. Right winger for the Flyers from the Czech Republic. Portraits, Alec Regula. I like the old school 80s type graphics. It would be something that would be on the background of one of my middle school yearbook pictures or something like that. A Patrick Kane checklist. Matt Waugh. I'm assuming that was Waugh and not Roy. Like the old legendary great Patrick Waugh. Dominic Kubalik. This one actually has some white on the back. That means there's got to be a $10,000 card clean in here somewhere. <laughs> oh. Tampa Bay alternate uniforms. I like those. All black with the gray. A marquee rookies. Let me try, let me take a stab at that name just to see how bad I can butcher it. Kirill Ustamenko. Eh, probably didn't butcher it as bad as I thought I might. Oh, look at the backs of those. Nice. No peachy. There's a Rene again. Mr. 
beanie once again. Yeah, I like these cards. As I said, I like that they got some good action shots here. And security, there it is. Sending that one off to PSA right there to get graded. I got another one with that on the back. Carry Price again. Good check. Couple Kako. Sean Murray. All right, what do we got here? Philippe Forsberg. Peter Forsberg, Upper Deck Canvas. What's he doing there? Has he got a weighted medicine ball that he's doing some work with in the offseason there? Philippe Forsberg, left winger. Tarashenko, Dunn, Quick, Pedersen, and again, the best card of the pack right there. So if my count is right, we've only got one Young Guns so far out of the seven fat packs that we opened. Unless I missed one in here somewhere. Let's get into that 32 card pack and hopefully we have a little bit better luck inside of here. Did get a couple canvases though, which is nice. Kucherov. I I see another canvas coming up, maybe. Ban. Oh, got a canvas and something else behind that. Oh, Barkov here. Alexander Barkov of the Panthers and a Dazzlers of Jake Gunsel. Kale McCarr. Series 2 checklist. Again, it's just looking at some of these cards again. I'm, the corners are just rounded on a lot of these. Hmm. It wasn't because of that, though. They came rounded. They were rounded already, I swear. <laughs> All right. So we got through eight fat packs right there. We've got these two blasters that we're going to get into right now. Yeah, I am certainly going to have to look into these cards because what I'm seeing, I don't know, it's, it's rounded corners on these fat packs, pretty bad. I'll have to look into those and see what's up with that and just see if that's really the case for a lot of these. Let me take a look a little bit here. Maybe these Dazzlers, at least this one seems fine. It doesn't seem to have any corner issues. A lot of those ones I was looking at had rounded corners. I'll have to, because I bought those packs myself and they've just been sitting waiting for me to shoot this video. So that could be something that's potentially problematic if so many of those are like that. By the time I, when I post this video, I'll have gone through everything. There's the inside of the box for you guys. I'll have gone through all of that stuff and I'll get an idea of how many of them have those corner issues and compare them to these blasters. See if the blasters are having the same kinds of issues. One bonus pack inside, as it says, Young Guns. 
I saw one in four in terms of Young Guns, Series 2 Rookie Exclusives. So if each one of these has seven packs, then you would expect to see roughly three Young Guns come out of these two blasters combined. All right, let's get on with it. Let's hope that these cards are in better shape. Hmm. Just thought this pack might have felt heavier, but I haven't opened any, so it's not like I'm going to know which one is heavier than the next. Those sturdy wrappers, I would definitely say that on these ones as well. Another Portraits Rookie, Di Pietro. Jordan Stahl. So again, as I'm going through these, I don't know most of these guys. I'll probably be flipping by guys that you'll see. And you're like, hey, that guy's good. Looks like we got something green there and shiny. But it's all fun for me, just opening up things here, checking out some new guys. We got a Young Guns from the Panthers. Goalie, Philippe Desrosiers. Let's check out this green. What is this? Braden Shin. Green Dazzlers from Upper Deck there. Nice. As I said, though, it's all fun for me. There's another cop of Kako. Get to open up a bunch of packs. You get to check out some videos, decide for yourself whether you want to get some of this stuff off the shelf. And for me, it's a way to try to familiarize myself with new product, new sports that have a bunch of players that I'm not familiar with. Hockey being one of them. I did a video earlier tonight recorded it MLS picked up three of those blasters those blasters were $14.99 and I didn't know any of those players actually one player I knew in there played for a team near a team here in Southern California so I knew one player so I'm a little bit better on hockey canvas Martin Nekas from the Hurricanes looks like we've got one of those OPG marquee rookies Madison Marchment don't mind me, I'm just looking at the cards. It looks like a lot of these have the same kind of issues with the corners, but that marquee rookies didn't. This upper deck canvas do, does, though. It's rounded. The corners are rounded on those. I wonder what is up with that. I wonder if upper deck has a program in place like Panini does. If you guys collect Panini, then you know if you get cards that are damaged, as long as you have the receipt, you can go ahead and put in a request with Panini to have those replaced. I wonder if Upper Deck does the same thing. I just haven't had to look. Pecorine. Steve Lorenz. Steven Lorenz, Young Guns from the Hurricanes. I'm just going to look through these again real quick. Yeah, every single corner, every single one of these corners is just rounded. Huh. Let me check that Lorenz. Yeah, the Lorenz looks fine though. There's definitely something I'll have to look into, though, to see if they have any kind of program where you can return damaged cards. Man, that's just annoying. <laughs> that's something definitely for you guys to keep in mind. Award winners, Connor Held by Yuck. Probably pronounced his name wrong, so you guys can feel free to 
take a dump on me in the comments. <laughs> I'm just perplexed by how bad these corners are on these cards are rounded, all of them. Though, except for these different type insert cards. You know, this awards winners, those Opeaches, the Young Guns, the Dazzlers. A lot of those cards, the corners are fine. All right, that is blaster number one. We'll do a quick recap at the end of the fat packs combined and then the two blasters combined. And then we'll recap each of the blasters individually. I believe we got two young guns out of that first blaster. So we beat the odds slightly. So we'll see if we do the same here with this blaster. pick these up off the shelves myself so it's not like I got them on the secondary market and they could have potentially been abused just something for you guys to keep in mind though I don't know if any of you have opened this product if you have let me know if you've had the same kind of issues I said it's always seems to be that lower right corner where it's rounded pretty bad and for the most part it's the base cards watch it be something where it's it's like yeah that's how they're supposed to be made they're special <laughs> but yeah definitely something to keep in mind if that is something that you if you haven't opened these yet and you're considering getting some of this stuff definitely something to keep in mind in terms of quality control there it looks like we've got more rounded corners. Young Guns Darren Radish. Doesn't really look too young, does he? <laughs> I got more hair than him. He can't be that young of a gun. <laughs> Off to a little bit of a slow start here with this second blaster. Just in terms of pulling out inserts and different kinds of nice looking cards. Nope, looks like we've got a green coming up. There's Kale McCarr. What do we got? Josh Norris, Dazzlers. All right, two more packs to go, everyone. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you think of this stuff. And again, the reason why I do this stuff is it's educational for me to learn about players from sports that I'm not really familiar with and it just shows you guys got a canvas here Charlie McAvoy Bruins corner looks solid on that one it gives you all a chance to see a lot of different product decide for yourself whether you want to sink some money into this I would say this was probably eight times four or five you know, 75 80 dollars worth of product there so you, could, you get a pretty wide range. You can decide what the value is. You probably know it better than me if you're watching this video. There we go. Young Guns, Keegan, Kulsar. So we've got two Young Guns per blaster. Pretty good. Corner looks a little iffy on that one. Not totally rounded like some of the others. All right, there we go. Tons of base. Let's do a quick recap from the second blaster that we just pulled we got the young guns Colsar, canvas mcavoy dazzlers josh norris i set aside the macar and we've got the not so young guns radish from the first blaster we opened we got award winners hellbike young guns lorentz canvas neckus Marquee Rookies, March Mint, Dazzler's Shin, Young Guns, De Rosier, and we've got the Portraits Rookie, De Pietro. Probably pronouncing a lot of these guys' names incorrectly. And from all of those fat packs that we opened, eight of them, 
Got a Dazzler's Gunsel. You see the Dazzlers are gold in this one. Is that gold they would call that? Would they call that an orange? You saw in the blasters they were lime green. Canvas Barkov. Another Canvas Forsberg. Marquee Rookies. Ustamenko. Portrait Rookies. Regula. Another Dazzler's Headman. Portraits Fabry. Portraits Rookies. Kratsov. Another Dazzler's Soderstrom. Marquee Rookies. Kivaranta. And another Portraits Rookies Larmy. It gives you a good idea of what to expect. You've seen a ton of this product. It looks like, just from what I've opened here, you see a lot more of the Dazzlers and a lot more of the Portraits Rookies and Canvas coming out of the fat packs and then more young guns coming out of the blasters it's just from what i've seen doesn't mean it's going to be like that for you of course but that's just what i've seen so you've seen it let me know if i passed through anything with all that base there if i missed anything let me know what you think of this product are you buying any or has this video kind of changed your mind as i said by the time you see this i will have gone through everything and we'll take a look and i will leave something in the comments about just how many of the base cards have corner issues. So thanks for watching everybody, take care.